cuddly, well, because we had cuddle for unity, we have to have a cuddly for unity connection. That's Cisco Unity data link for informics. And it's identical to, uh, to, to, to the Unity tool, right? So if you're familiar with that, we just looked at it a couple slides ago, you can see it looks identical, right? We're still going to have on the left-hand side the table, the tables of views, the middle of the columns, then we have that table in the phone column info. You do get this as well from CiscoUnityTools.com. You're going to download it, put it on a workstation. You open it up, you're going to put in you know, the IP address or host name of the Unity Connection server. You are going to have to authenticate with this. I do recommend, if, if you're not familiar with this, when you go to CiscoUnityTools.com and download it, you'll get a help file. And the help file is going to give you the requirements in order for this to work. You do need to create, you have a user with the proper roles in order for it to work, so there is security built in, and you do need to have the proper access to, to uh, log in. So it has the same features. You can see you can mouse over the GUIDs, and it will show you, the, you know, what it relates to as well. Um, just a couple differences. By default, we use the views instead of tables. Like I said, I prefer that anyway, so it's not a huge deal. But if you are one of the people who like to look at the actual tables, go under options, choose tables and look at it. One of the bigger things that is, is, is changed in here that you should be aware of is by default, we limit, rows, we limit the days to the top 100 rows. 